Today, I'm participating in the Save the YouTuber Hop. Some of the crafty community, along with companies, have teamed up to spotlight artists you may not know. Every video is sponsored, so the more videos you watch and comment on, you increase your odds at winning a prize. For my video, I'm giving away a $25 Simon Says Stamp gift certificate and two Catherine Pooler inks. So be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on my video for a chance to win. For today's hidden bookmark card, I'm using Gerda Steiner's Happiness Set. I start with two pieces of watercolor paper sized at four and five and a quarter. I'm marking off where I want the bookmark. My exact dimensions will be in the description bar below, but you can make it any size you want, but the idea behind this card will be the same. These two scenes will be more or less identical, so I'm using my MISTI to make sure everything is stamped in the same place on both papers. For one card, I'll stamp only in the area where the bookmark appears, and for the other, I'll stamp the entire scene because this will be the card front. I'm using Versamark ink with clear embossing powder, which I'll heat set. And I do this because I want to use my Zig Clean Color brush markers and a water brush to color in all my images. For all my heat embossing, I make sure to use the anti-static powder tool before stamping the images. I had to create a quick mask for the bunny so it looks like her paws were over the fence. For one of the carts, I'll go ahead and stamp the fence on both of the sides. This will be the card front, so I want the scene to look complete. You'll see me use my heat gun on the front and back of the paper since it tends to warp a bit and I'm trying to flatten it out. I'll take a sentiment from that stamp set and stamp it out for heat embossing. This sentiment will go in front of the card and it'll also be used to hold the bookmark in place. I chose to use watercolor paper for this card because I wanted to use the zig markers for the images. These markers blend out really nicely and for the smaller parts of the images I don't even use a water brush. I'll lay down a cup of colors first and then I'll use a water brush to blend it out. Even for the fence, I used colors that were pretty contrasting, but once you blended it out with the water brush, it looks really nice, and I think this looks pretty realistic. For the grass, I'll use a couple of shades of green, and since it's not very hard to blend out these colors, I'll just draw some lines, and I'll blend it out with a water brush. Using zig markers makes coloring really easy. Since I use a variant of greens, it looks like there's even texture and that I put some work into it, but I really didn't. For the bunny, I'll color her in gray so there's contrast against the fence. And I'll also add a little pink to her ears and purple to her bow. For the sky, I added a few colors of blue and blended it out so it looks like clouds. As for the sentiment, I wanted a pop of color, so I chose pink and I added it to the top and bottom edge and blended it out so it's lighter in the middle. The sentiment will lay across the fence so the bookmark will not fall out of its spot. For the front panel of the card, I mark it again with pencil so I know where I want to cut the bookmark, so I carefully do this with a paper trimmer. And I also decided to fussy cut the bunny so that you can kind of pull the bookmark out by her ears. For the front panel around the bookmark, I'll add foam tape. So it's one layer of dimension and it'll make the bookmark also a little bit more snug. Once I add all the foam pieces, my front panel will be ready to go. But I want to put my sentiment first and I'll add score tape to the right and left side of the sentiment. Note that I don't put any score tape in the middle of the sentiment because that's where the bookmark will go and you want the bookmark to be able to move. So I'll add that back panel to an A2 piece of blue cardstock and it gives it a nice trim. Because I want that bookmark to be exactly lined up with that back panel, I'll lay the bunny down and tape her down temporarily. This will let me know where to place that front panel. But once the front panel is taped down, I'll remove that tape and the hidden bookmark will be able to move. I really like how this card has a hidden surprise for a recipient. And even when you take the bookmark element away from the card, the card is intact. So to finish off this card, I'm attaching this to a white card base. Thanks for joining me on this part of the Save the YouTuber Hop. I'll have your next video link down below in the description box. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment for a chance to win one of the many prizes along on this hop. Thanks for watching and I hope you have fun exploring new YouTube channels. Have a great day. Bye!